Hey, have you heard? The good folks from Farnham are giving away a gorgeous, decked out Farnham 75th anniversary John Deere Gator filled with $1,000 worth of Farnham horse care products. Visit www.farnham.com backslash 75 dash giveaway to see the prizes and enter for a chance to win. Again, that is www.farnham.com backslash 75 dash giveaway. Happy 75th anniversary, Farnham. Thank you for always being our partner in horse care. This is Chelsea Schaefer, and this is season four of The Score. You all have listened to this podcast three quarters of a million times, and we are here in season four to bring you even more of what you love. Hey guys, it is Caitlin Gustav with another episode of The Short Score. And today, you know, instead of having professional, you know, the number 10 headers and healers on this podcast talking about the Pro Rodeo Weekend, I have one of my very, very good friends and someone I work very closely with in the industry, and that is Carrie DeCastro, who, which those of you don't know, she's the backbone, the behind the scenes lady of Yost Events and the NTR, uh, Dynamite Arena, and Rancho Rio. So uh, pretty much everything you see there is Carrie's done. She's <laughs> she's helped create, I mean, obviously Ty Yost, but that's Carrie. Carrie, hi. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Ty keeps me busy. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, Ty keeps Carrie very, very busy. If I don't think I've, I've seen anyone work more or as hard as Carrie. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, you know. I'm lucky because I, I am working with something I love and am mm-hmm. passionate about, so it makes it easy. It's, you know, yes, I'm busy a lot, but it's fun, <laughs> and I love team roping, and I love jackpots, and I love Arizona, so <laughs> it's a win for me. It's a big win. It's a big, big win. So, Carrie, before we kind of jump into the nitty-gritty, um, let's kind of let our listeners know who you are, how you got into this industry, and what you specifically do? Um, yeah, quick version. Um, I, you know, I just sort of started, got into graphic design, um, kind of roundabout way, and um, I knew a lot of producers at the time and kind of word of mouth just started building team roping ads, and um, that escalated to, you know, today I, I mostly build ads for Tyost um, and NTR, um, a few World Series here and there, and, and I've been doing some stuff for the USTRC as well. Um, you know, it takes a ton of people to put, put these things together. So by no means is it just me. Um, I get to be the creative, um, do the fun outside creative thing that people see. Um, so that's kind of exciting. But I still like to stay behind the scenes a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Which this year, this season coming up in Arizona, uh, she is not going to be hiding. I am going to make her crack out um, with me because that's something that I had to burst out of my bubble and I'm going to make her burst out of her bubble now. I'm going to do it, Caitlin. Yeah, so she's going to be, the reason she's on this episode um, is because Carrie is going to be joining me. We're going to try to maybe have like coffee time with Carrie and Caitlin every now and then on the short score coming to you straight from Arizona, which will, it'll probably be coming to you from Dynamite Arena. Or Rancho uh, Rio. Or Rancho Rio, mm-hmm. wherever yeah. we're at the yeah. time. Yeah. Um, but so Carrie and I, we're going to be going to Arizona come October uh, 2021 in case if you're listening to this in the future. And um, we'll be there for, you know, all the season openers. And uh, there's so much stuff that's going to be coming. And, there is. You know. It's so exciting. Every every winter is a little bit different. And mm-hmm. I think that's what keeps us all so excited <laughs> and ready to go back. I mean, I know you keep telling me how excited you are to go back. And <laughs> I didn't uh, – I, didn't, I stayed in Arizona last summer. Um, and it is hot down there, so I'm not quite as excited as you. I'm not ready quite yet. I know it's still hot there, um, but it's coming. It's coming really fast. Um, openers start mid-October, so mm-hmm. we'll be there before we know it. Yeah, and so, Carrie, you know, let's kind of tell them we're planning on covering, you know, the amateur roper, ropers, the open ropers. Um, you know, we'll both be at the World Series finale, which people don't know, Carrie and I, You'll probably see us running around like crazy all the time if you know us. Um, We're usually together. We're kind of a tag team. Um, So we'll be at the World Series finale covering that um, in December. We'll be probably hopefully at Vegas Week Mm -hmm. um, in Wickenburg at Rancho Rio, you know, for a couple days before we head out. Mm -hmm. Um, Of course, that event has just gotten more and more popular. 
and it's a great place for people to come, you know, practice a little bit before they head to Vegas. So, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Just the rest of this year's jam pack. Yeah, and then, you know, the following year, Rancho Rio Horse Sale, we kind of are brainstorming already. It's early, but we're brainstorming now of what we're going to yep. do for whoever wants to be watching or listening. Um, so you guys stay tuned. We got so much fun stuff coming from Arizona and you know we're not going to forget about the other states there's going to be stuff everywhere else um but Carrie you're you're very involved in obviously the Yost events which include the NTR which we mm-hmm. just got home from the Ooh. Frontier Western Frontier Cheyenne yeah National Team Roping Western Frontier Labor Day Celebration yep, Cheyenne yes it was a good one. Oh my gosh yes. it was a long weekend so kind of tell me you roped a little I roped a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is the other thing that is great about my job. Mm-hmm. Um, when I can, I sneak away and get to enter. <laughs> Sometimes not as often as I'd like, but every time I get to, it's it's great and enjoyable. Yeah. And I'm lucky to get to do it. So, yeah, um, yeah, no luck in the roping pen. But all <laughs> in all, it was an it was an awesome event. Um, we had a truck roping. Um, 15 year old Suede Olson from Utah took that truck home he actually turned 16 in a month Mm -hmm. i know there's always the comments oh when can he drive (laughs) so don't worry he can actually drive it pretty quick yeah um he's got his permit i'm sure right now he does he does (laughs) he was very excited um his family actually um he's got two brothers and they homeschool and they're in arizona a lot so we'll see him down there and you know there was the there was a few there's two world series ropings intertwined Yep, we had two World Series qualifiers, and we had a you know a big saddle roping. Mm-hmm. That was probably the uh, the oh my gosh. the blowout of the weekend. We had that was a big day, six hundred and seventy. I'm pretty. Oh, 724. I think we broke seven. Yeah, it was like seven twenty four. I think so. I'll have to look back. I, don't know, I popped a lot, a lot of, of gates. A lot. Yes, Caitlin. Caitlin, tell them about you this weekend. You guys, I I am the jack of all trades. I am a professional shoot opener. Um, I watched a lot of heads nod this weekend and opened a lot of shoot gates. Um, pushed a lot of steers. Got kicked a little. It's fine. It's, yeah. You know. So Caitlin and I. It's Caitlin, fun. <laughs> it's fun to be kind of. You know, I came and helped you for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's something great about about our crew and the people we work with. We're all so passionate about it that mm-hmm. that everybody's willing to jump in and do anything. So. So that's why you're able to convince me to help you with your podcast. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. And you guys, you know, I want to plug this really quick, which I don't know if you guys know this, but I think Ty Yost and, you know, Kevin Redstrom, their crew that they have working at these ropings are top notch. And I got to be a part of it. And if I just want to plug this, because sometimes I don't think the shoot help gets enough credit, whether they're pushing up steers, opening the shoot at the stripping shoot behind the scenes where you don't see him setting sorting up, cattle setting, setting up you don't even know down. how yeah you guys i thank those guys please because it is long hours yeah. um i am still sore to right now <laughs> <laughs> the day after yeah. you know coming off um, of a four day a four day event mm-hmm. those those guys and girls mm-hmm. they they work their tails off and yeah. i mean any chance you can thank thank the crew because it is mm-hmm. a tough job. Yeah. And none of us would be doing this without them. So No, no, exactly. So, yeah, please, you guys, next time you're at a jackpot, I don't care where you're at, uh, be courteous and be kind. <laughs> yes, be kind. <laughs> Had to plug that real quick. <laughs> um, so going off of shoot help, um, you know, we're going to wrap this up. You guys, that was kind of Labor Day weekend was kind of the last big, big thing um, until – winter until you know everyone's getting ready for the world series finale and everything so um until then you know we'll be covering the pros we still got our pro rodeo coverage our resist all rookie coverage our fast back rope circuit coverage and soft ride horse stories coming at you guys and we'll have more guys on these podcasts and don't forget to listen to the score as well every other thursday so you know Still more of that to come, um, but until then, Carrie and I are going to kind of be laying low behind the scenes, um, maybe um, talking at you guys a little bit here and there until we hit the season opener um, at Dynamite, which is the second, or which is the third weekend in October. So, correct, um, correct. Yeah. Stay tuned for a lot of coverage just from that season opener from both of us. Yep. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Awesome. Well, thank you, Carrie. Thank you for being on this episode. And I cannot wait to have more and have coffee with you on these episodes. Thank you, Caitlin. Me too. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs>